Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to a new episode of the Indiana Pacers My GM series. We recently played up against the Boston Celtics, and these guys, they got Dwight Howard. They're a pretty solid team. I mean, Isaiah Thomas, Marcus Smart, Jared Sonnel, Javery Bradley, Dwight Howard, though. He played 22 minutes and scored 5 points, only 2 rebounds, 1 turnover, and 1 assist. He, he just didn't do anything. On our team, though, Paul George... 10 for 15, DeRozan 9 for 16, Whiteside dropped 14 and 8, 5 blocks and 2 steals against Dwight Howard, Stanley Johnson, I'm still getting used to his shot, he went 3 for 10 which isn't great but he's our newest pickup on the team, and then Eric Bledsoe, he dropped 6 turnovers, he got 6 turnovers, I don't know how he got 6 turnovers but he did, which isn't great, he only got 7 assists and 4 points, Eric Bledsoe, if we're, if we're paying him 14 mil, or even, you know, if he goes up to 15 mil in 2018, is that really worth what he does on this team? At, at the moment, he's playing 26 minutes and averaging 12 points and 5 assists, which isn't great. That's not very good for what I want my point guard position to be. Let's simulate up to the all-star break, because we're... You know, we're looking good. We're 30 and 12. I think we're first in that conference, which is pretty good, but we'll see how um, Eric Bledsoe plays throughout the next couple games. And uh, after that, if he's not playing well, we might look to trade him. And also, we'll have a look at DeMar DeRozan as well, see how he's playing, and just see how the team's playing in general. Because if we're playing well, no trades need to be made. Um, but if we're not playing well, then I think trades do need to be made. But at the moment, we're beating uh, quite quite a few teams, which is, is good. And what I mean by quite a few is uh, good teams as well. 10-game winning streak, which is awesome. But I have some exciting videos. And if you guys want to see the next episode of this series, smash that like button for the next episode. And smash the like button because I'm, I'm going to make some exciting videos that are kind of my GM related, but at the same time, they're not my GM related. Um, we're going to be doing some rebuild videos. So right now, actually, comment down below, which team would you like me to rebuild? Because I've seen, you know, guys like CSB and Funky Diabetic and all these YouTubers rebuild all these things. And I think it's a pretty cool idea. And, um, you know, um, it's kind of what... That, like, I know CSB really specializes in that type of thing. He does also, like, an Indiana Pacers my GM. He... By the way, if you guys don't know CSB, definitely subscribe to him. I think he just reached 50k, so shout out to him. 50k is pretty solid. Um, it's really good, good, good stuff. Um, 10 game winning streak right now. We're unstoppable. I, yeah, we, we are unstoppable. Um, not really, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. So shout out to CSB. Subscribe. I'll, I'll put a link in. I'll put a link into. Uh, I'll put some links actually. I'll give you guys. I'll give you four of my GM YouTubers. You guys should subscribe to. I put all the four links in the description if I remember. CSB, Funky Diabetic, Agent Zero, Crispy Flakes. Subscribe to all of them if you like my videos as well and you're not subscribed to one of them. Um, they come out with some crazy content. And uh, to be honest, I don't really know why I'm talking about them. I was saying um, before that I got some exciting videos coming out soon. Uh, Paul George is really happy about his teammates. That's, that's awesome. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I got some really exciting videos, um, some rebuilding videos, some what if videos like Crispy Flakes does on his channel, and, and he allowed me to, uh, maybe he's a tough love kind of guy, whoops, at least he went up one, um, uh, Crispy Flakes allowed me to, uh, to do some what if scenario videos, which is awesome, um, cause you know, I want to ask you know, permission to do things like that, because, um, you know, I didn't really come up with the idea, it was mainly his idea, so we're definitely going to be doing some rebuilding videos, and also some, Miles Turner's back, which is awesome, some re some rebuilding videos, and some what if scenario videos, which I can't wait to get started in with that, I also plan to do, we lose to the Hornets, I also plan to do a little bit of, a little bit of Vancouver Grizzlies, my league, um, create some jerseys and things like that. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Like if I'm gonna do a fantasy draft or from I don't really know because like they don't The Vancouver Grizzlies don't have anything to do with 2k to be honest like Nothing in 2k is Vancouver at all. I guess they have Memphis Grizzlies but They don't have any players apart from like 
I don't think they even have Mike Bibby. Yeah, I don't think Mike Bibby is even in the game apart from in my team. So Vancouver is going to be hard if I want to do like a Vancouver Grizzlies my league. But I can always like, I can always like do a fantasy draft, a Legends fantasy draft with all the guys I've created plus all the Legends and see if we can do a Vancouver. Let me leave a like and comment down below if you guys want to see that. Paul George made the All-Star game along with all these guys, Reggie, Dwayne... Dwayne Wade, Kevin Love, Drummond, Thad Young. That's my boy right there. These guys are my boy. For those that don't know, Thaddeus Young and Andre Drummond, I've been fans of these guys for ages. And uh, Thaddeus Young is a weird guy to be you know, a fan of, but I like Thaddeus Young. And then Dre, he's coming up. He's been really good right now. Giannis, Jimmy Butler, Kemba Walker, Melo, LeBron, Kyle Lowry, and uh, Kyrie Irving. And then on the West, they got Westbrook, Kyrie, Durant, Davis, Griffin, Lillard, Harden, Kawhi, Green, Demarcus, Emmanuel, Moody, Ben Simmons already? This is his first season, god damn. He might be the next LeBron James, I'm not even gonna lie, but maybe I'm a bit, <laughs> maybe I just like him too much because uh, he's a, he, he's a, uh, he's out of Australia. Uh, dunk contest, all good. Has only made the dunk contest, all right. J.R. Smith, Harden, Kyrie, Devin Booker, Love, and Reddick made the three-point contest. The All-Star, the, uh, the stars from the rookies. We got Check there. And Stanley Johnson, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll take credit for Stanley Johnson, even though he hasn't really been. He's only been with us for like a few games. And that's pretty much it for us, I think. Do I do the All-Star? I kind of like to simulate past the... Because I've already done some All-Star things. I like to simulate past then. And I want to face up. Where's Trade Deadline? Where does trade deadline finish? Um, I don't even know when it finishes. When when does trade deadline finish? It should be around here, right? Maybe I'm tripping. But we'll see what Eric Bledsoe was worth on the block, along with these two first round picks. We'll take a look, see what they're worth. Hopefully something. If not, we'll just um, either propose a trade or we'll just leave the team as it is. My phone's going off, I'll answer that and I'll come right back. All right, we're back. Anyone good? Jeff Teague. Um, I'm, I'm kind of good with that. Gary Harris, Reggie Jackson. I kind of like Reggie Jackson, but I don't know if he's worth all that money and getting rid of Eric Bledsoe as well. That DeMar DeRozan, Eric Bledsoe and this first round pick. See what we can get. I honestly, we can get LaMarcus Aldridge and Tony Parker. Now somebody tell me that's not crazy right here. I'ma hop into this trade. I'm, I'm not gonna say we're gonna get these guys cause you know, we don't need to get these guys. But I'm saying, we don't need another big man really cause we have, we have um, Pineapple Head and Hassan Whiteside. But, what if we went after what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What if we went after this man right here? He got drafted by the Indiana Pacers for those that don't know. What if we made this trade? We'd have to, we, we'd take Gary Neal or actually Yamahimi. And who's a one, who, Maurice Spates? Who's like a one star player that's worth a bit? Boris Dia, 961k, are you serious? Um, so Gary Neal, I guess, might be the guy. But, yeah. I think it's Gary Neal. We'll have to throw him in. I wonder what they say to this. We give up Eric Bledsoe. First off, what, about, what, about, what, what if we do this? What if we do this? Eric Bledsoe and DeMar DeRozan. For Kawhi Leonard, we'd run Kawhi, he's a 92 overall, we run Paul George and Kawhi Leonard in the same lineup. What if we did that? I doubt they're gonna say, I, I doubt they're gonna say yes to this. But, yeah, they're, they're not gonna say yeah. The thing is, I'd love to get LaMarcus Aldridge. I just know no team is gonna take, no team, because we have Miles Turner, we have Hassan Whiteside. Plus, we're doing really well right now. We are conference, we're first in the conference. Beating Cleveland, beating you know Boston, who have Dwight, beating the Bulls, 
beating all these teams, and Miami's doing terribly right now. Um, but then again, if we ever match up against OKC or God, why isn't Golden State doing well? Um, I don't know, man. We're doing well. That's that's a good thing. But I'm not happy with Eric Bledsoe's performance. Um, so let's let's go by player. Let's go by position. Point guard. See who we can get. Trade finder, no one. Trade finder, no one. Trade finder, no one. Trade finder, no one. Kyle Lowry, no one. Lillard, no one. Parker. Not really who I want. I, it kind of drops off from there. Like, it kind of does drop off from there. I do like D-Rose, but you know his contract's big and... I don't know. Um, After Lillard... There's no one that I re let's look at Lillard. Let's see what Lillard wants. Let's see what Lillard wants. Well, not really what he wants, but what the Portland Trailblazers want. Why? Okay, hold up. Why isn't he worth much? Let's look at Kyrie. I want Kyrie on this team. Why isn't... Is Eric Bledsoe just worth nothing to anyone? Okay, he, he's worth a lot to the Clippers. I don't even know, like, who... I don't even know who who would give up. Okay, we'll look at... You go to the Clippers. You go to the Celtics. Then you go to the Clippers as well. Dwight for DeAndre and a really crazy first round pick. The Celtics like this trade. The Clippers, yo, you're getting Eric Bledsoe. Like two crazy first round picks. And Dwight Howard. Okay, and you'll also get your own pick back from the Clippers. Come on, Clippers. Please accept. Please accept. Yo, the Celtics would give up all this for you. Another first round pick. Yo, Clippers! What are you doing right now, Clippers? What? Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll keep all these first round picks. And the Clippers do not take this? Yo! Is it worth me trading Hassan Whiteside and getting all these picks for Dwight Howard? We never face up. We never face San Antonio. We'll face off against them over here. Alright? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take that trade. That's a stupid trade. Tim Hardaway Jr. for Check the I like Check the Other. I'm happy with the team. See, this is freaking like, give me CP3. And I'll give you Eric Bledsoe. Okay. Okay. Give me 570k. I'll give you McDaniels. This is a good trade. And all, and these first round. I'm giving you first round picks, Clippers. I'm giving you first round picks. Okay, I won't even do, I'll just do this. Okay, let's not try. I'm trying one more time. Uh, Look, you, you, okay. I'll try one more time. You will even get. And then you give up some some picks, and then you, my friend, who goes to the 76ers? Uh, you go to the 76ers, and the 76ers give up Noel as well. The 76ers like the trade. How do the 76ers like the trade, but the Clippers don't like the trade? How? How? <laughs> what? Clippers, are you messed up in the head? You're getting Noel. You're getting Bledsoe, Embiid. Okay, okay, how about instead of these two, you get Jalil freaking Okafor. Now that is a, yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not gonna do that trade. Not even the 76ers are gonna do this trade. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna end the episode here. 
We're gonna simulate up to the Spurs, play the Spurs, and then hop into the playoffs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. This, I tried to make some, I tried to get rid of Eric Bledsoe. I'll do it one more time, but I don't think I'm gonna get anyone. Eric Bledsoe, are you worth anything to anyone? Please, give me CP3, give me Lillard, give me Kyrie, give me someone. But at least after this year, we can give him a chance to develop even more. And then hopefully he might be worth something, but... Um, I don't think so, man. I don't think he's worth anything as of now. And, uh... To be honest, he doesn't even do that much for me. He doesn't do that much for me. Um, we could get Isaiah Thomas, but... In fact, we could get Isaiah Thomas on a much lower contract. But I, I'm good. I, I don't want to ruin the team chemistry. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button for the next episode. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.